Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. Today we are going to cover organophosphate poisoning. For ease, we have named the scene as pesticide lab, as organophosphates are commonly used as pesticides. So, coming to the scene, you can see a doctor on the leftmost side with the brain bubble representing the class of organophosphate that is neurotics as described by the brain. So, you can see along the doctor that a lady with a parrot is standing. So, the name of the lady is Miss Mala and she is having a conversation with the doctor about her parrot's condition. So, Miss Mala is representing Melathion and parrot is representing Parathion. So, basically, organophosphates are divided into two groups, alkyl group and the aryl group. Alkyl group, a common example of the alkyl group is Melathion and the common example of the aryl group is the Parathion. So, malathion and parathion are co common examples of the organophosphates. So, talking about the fatal dose of organophosphates, so you can see a tag hanging from the parrot that says $175. That represents the fatal dose of organophosphate that is 175 gram. Now, talking about the fatal period, you can see a clock hanging on the wall that is stuck at three o'clock that indicates the fatal period is of three hours so coming to the mechanism of action that is represented by sign of a crossed phone you can see on the left most corner you can see a crossed phone that represents that call is inhibited in the lab so the mechanism of action is call in a strays inhibitor so you can remember Call is inhibited in the lab. Call in is phrase inhibitor. So, organophosphate poisoning is related to overwhelming cholinergic effect. So, acetylcholine accumulates at the neuromuscular junctions and synapses and it causes the hyperexcitation. So, you may have read about a cholinergic effects and the anticholinergic effects in your pharmacology and we are going to revise the sign and symptoms in the uh, next section so let's talk about the sign and symptoms so you can see a mnemonic that is presented on the board dumbbells and slud so dumbbells is a very common mnemonic that is used to remember the cholinergic effects so so basically the mechanism of action of organophosphate is cholinesterase inhibition so we can uh, relate the same symptoms to it so dumbbells so d stand for diarrhea u, u stand for urination m stand for meiosis p stand for bradycardia uh, the next b stand for bronchospasm l stand for lacrimation e stand for excitation the double s stand for salivation and sweating so dumbbells can be a good mnemonic to remember uh, the sign and symptoms of organophosphate poisoning. You can also see a mnemonic named as SLUD. Sometimes there is a question in your exam that uh, asks that what is the SLUD syndrome. So you can easily answer the question. So SLUD stand for salivation, urination and lacrimation and the D stand for diarrhea. So these all symptoms are represented uh, by a lady that is sitting on the toilet as you can see that uh, she is having fluid on the floor with urination representing diarrhea and she is holding a sort of book which has a heart that is representing the bradycardia and she is vomiting and the pupils as you can see there that are constricted so that is representing meiosis so all the symptoms are being uh, represented by the female that is sitting on the toilet so now we are going to talk about the post-mortem appearance of the organophosphate poisoning. So it is being represented by two items. One is the girl that is holding her neck and second is the microscope. So let's talk about the girl who is holding her neck and is having blood stained froth coming from the mouth. So it is representing asphyxia and you can also see that the shirt of the girl is having red dots that is representing a submucosal petechial hemorrhages that are very significant in the post-mortem appearance of organophosphate poisoning. You can also see red pipes along the girl that are representing capillary dilatation that leads to edema as well. Also there is a bottle of kerosene that is just beside the girl that represents kerosene like smell 
that come from the bodies of organophosphate poisoning patients so if we summarize the post mortem findings we can see that uh, asphyxia could be present with blood stain froth coming from the mouth kerosene like smell coming from the body as well as submucosal petechial hemorrhages as well as edema from the capillary dilatation so let's talk about the next item that was the microscope you can see that the microscope is having a bubble that shows lungs that are having a blue tinge that represents the pulmonary edema and you can also see that the same red uh, dots are present on the lungs that is representing the petechial hemorrhages so uh, pulmonary edema and petechial hemorrhages can also be present on the lungs as well so let's talk about the medical legal importance of organophosphate poisoning as the drug is used commonly as a pesticide and it is sprayed among the farms so the poisoning is very common among the farmers as you can see a billboard that is hanging from the wall on the right side that says safe farming so it is very common in farmers and if a scenario comes uh, that says the farmer is having some sort of poisoning so it would be likely organophosphate poisoning in pakistan it is also used for suicidal intents as the pesticide pills are very common and are easily available and are easily utilized as well so let's talk about the treatment or management of organophosphate poisoning so the first step would be uh decontamination so it is represented by a small girl that is having a mop that you can see under the table so she is representing the process of decontamination so the person is removed from the target area the clothes are removed and the decontamination is done via the alkaline water or simple soap you can also see oxygen cylinder in the middle of the scene that is representing the oxygen therapy if required thirdly you can see a pine cone that is resting beside a nurse that is having a hat named pam so a pine cone sitting beside miss pam so the pine represents atropine we call it atropine that is the common antidote for organophosphate poisoning you can see that miss pam is holding a symbol of two so it is representing 2 pam that is common abbreviation for pralidoxim that is a cholinesterase reactivator as we said in the mechanism of action that it is the organophosphates are cholinesterase inhibitors so we are giving cholinesterase reactivators in case of treatment so 2 pam can be given and 2 also represents the dose of atropine so 2 milligrams can be given so one we are giving atropine and we can also give pralidoxime also there is a first aid box uh, beside miss pam that is representing the supportive treatment so if we summarize the treatment we are going for decontamination with alkaline water or simple water we can have airway management thirdly we can give uh, antidotes including atropine and pralidoxime and along with the supportive treatment so this was our video of organophosphate poisoning i hope uh, you had a great time if you have any questions you can drop down in the comment section till then take care for detail literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan